such a nice sunset. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. Thanks for tuning in for another video. Um, so I haven't been uploading in a minute because my GoPro mount broke for my uh, helmet. It came off when I was, almost came off when I was riding. Um, I've been having issues to where, I don't know what it is with this thing, but it does not, it does not want to just sit flush on the helmet every time I'm, perf even if I perfectly prep it and mount it, it just does not want to sit flush. And it keeps like falling off because of the wind and all that stuff. But I think I did it pretty solid this time. What I'm trying to talk to you guys about today is, uh, I have some good news. The evil isn't dead just yet. So long story short, if you have, if you have or haven't seen my last video, um, I think it was the last video, I can't remember if it was, but I talked about the Evo and how I thought I had rod knockoff because there was metal shavings in the pan, uh, there was knocking sounds, smoke coming out the exhaust, and making no power on the dyno, all that stuff. So, about a m two months later, I started the car up just to kind of like keep it going or like just to kind of like diagnose it again. And what I found was pretty cool, well not cool but interesting, um, the car wasn't ticking, which is weird. So, last time I started it, it was ticking, right? Like, really loud. And it wasn't doing that anymore. So I'm like, okay, wait a minute. If it was rod knock, it'd be ticking all the time, and it's not doing that. So it's not the bottom end, it's something else. It has to be with the top end. So, at that point, I remembered that I did a leak down test on the engine when i had the stock turbo pushing a 400 about two years ago and the results were bad like my cylinders were leaking from like 15 to 25 percent and it was just really bad so i'm like okay wait a minute if it was leaking that much when i was pushing that much power on stock turbo and i haven't rebuilt it it's got to be so much worse because i'm pushing more power so i'm putting it under more stress now those valves and all that have to be completely towed so that's what my initial thought was and then also when i started it uh black smoke would come, would come out it was on pump fuel and then as it warmed up then there was white smoke coming out i'm like okay wait a minute that's not oil it's not like oily in the exhaust it's moisture it's white okay so there's probably a head gasket failure so i took the head off to inspect it to see what what the cause what was the cause to see if i could see anything and when i took the head off i noticed that on the gasket it was super uh destroyed so cylinder one and four were the worst it was on two and three too but one and four was the worst uh, the black ring that seals around the cylinder was pretty much ripped off um i'll post a picture right here and you can see like half of it is completely gone so that's more than likely what 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 the issue was because like i said i wasn't making power on the dyno that's probably what it was because i had head lift and you can see on the head there was some combustion exiting out of the cylinder and escaping through because uh, there's some marks on the top of the head i'll post a picture of that right now so i'm like okay it's a head gasket failure at least now i know it's not the bottom end and i can save a couple thousand dollars by not building the bottom end and i got and i got pretty stoked about that too um so the plan is to have the head fully rebuilt um i'm gonna get ferra 6000 competition series valves um get head resurfaced and all that stuff so by the time this video is being recorded i should oh my god dude <laughs> bro's front end I should have the car up and running by next month. I'm trying to have it done by the end of the year. At least start it and running at least. Because that's my Christmas gift to myself. I need to get that car running. Because it's been about a year since it's been down. I'm not counting that it was up and running for about a week during the dyno because it was pretty much on lip mode without me realizing it. So that doesn't count. So we're still going on a year not having the car done because I just want to have my car back, dude. I miss it so much. So we're close. We're close to having it uh, finally back on the road. Um, 
but that's pretty much it on the evo update and oh i even went to go race again like i said i would uh but the problem was i don't want to upload the video because about two nights before the race what happened was i was coming back home from doing something and it was dark t it was nighttime so my room is dark i couldn't see nothing i forgot i had my gopro charging on the floor and i tried to turn on my uh my light in my room i i thought i was being careful but i stepped on my gopro and i heard a crack i'm like oh my god you're kidding i picked it up i broke my uh my lens and that was a special one too because that's what's making everything um like nice and blurry like around everything like on the sides of it that's how you're getting that motion blur because uh, it's a nd16 filter thankfully i had my stock one so i just threw it back on for the race i want to pet this dog so bad but um i didn't change the settings because i didn't want to keep going back and forth so i just left it to how they are right now because it's super exposed for this low low uh bright level lens or whatever you want to say it is so the race was super exposed super blurred out I could, you couldn't see nothing um here's a clip I'll tell you how it went it went pretty good uh it was super windy though it was like 30 mile an hour gust of winds it's always windy over here and the track was super freaking rough dude my class was packed full of 34 people on the first lap of the first moto on the second turn uh pretty much some guy cut across from the outside to the inside on me and i grabbed the front uh brake too hard and the freaking front end swatted on me and the handlebar smacked me in the stomach it hurt so much that i almost pulled over because i was pretty much i almost had my breath knocked out of me but i stayed and i kept going i don't remember what position i got but the second motor was great i was passing people out because they were too scared to uh hit the jumps because it was super windy um but yeah overall it was a pretty good race um i'm gonna go right again this weekend and i'll be sure to take you guys this time uh because i am getting better so i want to show you guys my progress too but that's pretty much all i have to update you guys with on the car and the race that i did if you want to stay tuned and if you want to know what happens with the evo hit that subscribe button and notification bell to see what goes on with it more videos of the evo will be coming up soon since um i'm getting parts really soon for it so i'll be posting more videos about that too but pretty much that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed the little update again i didn't upload or record because I, my gopro mount was broken and i did not feel like holding my camera and recording every single thing i do that's just i'm too lazy for that but i'm back now again um uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.